Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how you can add a visitor count on your website. It can be any website with HTML, PHP or GSP. So before we proceed we need an HTML file. So let's begin with an HTML file. This is a basic HTML where you can just type your simple code just to show how you can present your head end not much with the words so far okay. then we can uh, just name it as visitor counter this will just add a count in your page where you can verify how many people visited your blog or a website so this is the head part and now we will come to the body part So I'll save this file as my website.htm. I'll keep it as HTML. Oh, I just want to add the bit of code here so that I can show a visitor counter on my website. So there's a lot of method to show how you can add visitor counter like doing with the code adding the loop and saving the visitor count in your database but what in case when you are in use having a website in HTML where you don't have any access to database what can you do so this is a simple method just go to hit web counter you'll see a variety of options how you can select the hit web counter let's say I'll select the this one this looks elegant then scroll down After selecting this one okay so the page name is optional you don't have to enter anything the starting count would be zero as always if you want to count it someone like incremental count with 13 or 14 or whatever it is the number of digits it's like 5 you can maximum keep it till 9 uh, 5 as in 1 2 3 4 5 so it will count till 5 digit if you want visitor count to be more than 5 then you can just adjust with the following option um, leave the select categories blank now here's the counter type this is the important part the counter type now depending on what type of counter you want you can select the option here and the first one is the page views it's like number of times the user visited your page is page view it's like it's like a single user can visit your page 10 times so it will count 10 plus and the other hand the other option is unique visitor it's, that defines that particular user has accessed your website only once so it will count as one if the user trying to access your website multiple times it won't increment as the IP is recorded the IP address of the user is recorded and saved as a unique visitor count so let's give it a try with the page views first just click on the get counter code and you'll find this code just copy paste this part copy this part and paste it between your body or anywhere you want in your HTML page this is just a basic example so let's say I saved it now I'm gonna run it hmm. so here's my option I can run it from here as well as you can see the counter is 1 so if I refresh it it will be 2 as many time I refresh the counter keeps incrementing and I don't have to save anywhere if it is 5 if I close this file and if I open it again from here it will be 6 it is saved in hit webs counter database so we don't have to worry about saving the details now let's try the other option we can go back 
sorry. Select the other option, like the unique visitor. Go to the counter code. Copy paste this code. And paste it here. Now if I access my website, you'll see that the counter is 1. But if I refresh it, it won't change. Since my IP is recorded, my IP address won't be able to replicate or increment the number. So I'll have to access the same website or HTML or provide the, the, this link with some other browser with some other computer. Then only I'm able to increment that. Otherwise, this is a unique hit. So that's what it defines here. The page views which defines that the user access your web page how many times, but the unique visitor defines that how many unique hits you got from the different types of user. Even if I open with this uh, other browser Mozilla, I won't increment the count since it is cal cal calculating with the IP address. I hope you like my video and uh, I'll see you soon in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.